hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to discuss about to so how to grab the data from the blob storage okay in the blob storage i have the file called the json file okay so every day the client has updated the json files i need to grab that json file and insert into azure sql database okay so in this scenario first of all i need to discuss about the C, uh, sql bulk copy and later you need to deserialize the data the json data and finally you have to write to server okay these three major components plays the vital role okay so first of all i will explain already this example is available in the um, so many internet pages so just i'm explaining but the major part so how to publish and how to check in the uh, azure after that i will explain later okay so first of all i will show you so this is my blob okay first i will explain the blob trigger so i have created one blob trigger this is my container name so this name is nothing but the file which is inside the container okay so after that this is the connection name the connection name is nothing but this is the azure web storage okay uh, this Azure Web Storage is nothing but this is uh, this gives you path to uh, Azure Storage account. Okay, so the containers. So where is our okay. yeah. This mo my blob is nothing but your JSON file. Okay. Now we will create. We will tell you. You can see uh, this SQL connection string is nothing but I will show you. Yeah, this is the SQL connection string. Okay so if you want to use the um, dependency injection uh, you can separately create the startup page and you have to keep this file there and you can consume the just local dot settings json file from the startup class okay i will explain later about that in the next session okay first of all i will explain the how to read the our json content first i am going to read the json content from my blog okay this my blog will give you the so json content which is inside the json file which is inside the blob storage after that you need to read that from top to bottom so after that you need to deserialize that why we need to deserialize any file so if you want to read uh, to in the uh, not .NET objects for example you have a file called the json objects so directly you can't attach your uh, .NET objects directly to the um, JSON objects okay so you need to deserialize them so if you deserialize them so you the your dot net objects directly read that JSON objects okay so how to read that I will tell you so first of all this JSON you have to you have to pause this JSON okay so after that you need to find out the descendants so what are the descendants I will explain one thing you can see so you have to keep in mind uh, what is the j object and j array okay directly you can't add this json object directly to the j array first you need to add this j object to j properties later you need to add those properties to j array in that scenario only you can do that okay first of all i will tell you one thing okay first of all um, the children's you have to know the children's yeah this is called the json property this whole thing is called the json property this is the json attribute okay uh, okay this thing only the json object first of all you need to iterate through these three items okay these two items okay which is inside the json object so that is the reason why um children of the j object so i need to iterate through only this json object with these items okay so after that you need to filter the properties which is inside the row so okay so after that you need to find out the column name and column value so i will debug and i will show you one by one okay so already i have connected to my azure account so you can directly browse and upload one file 
we again come to our function you can check here so what's the process here just I'm reading the data from the blob trigger blob storage okay so first I need to read the data so later I need to deserialize the data okay you can see our JSON data okay this is our JSON data so again go to children's you can see the row has a you can see product name and category id so product name this is one property this is the second property okay later you need to find out the column name and column value okay the column name is product name and column value is vita okay so later you need to add this json object okay till now what we have done just we have created the json object so later you need to add this json object to jri okay okay you can see this is the json array this is the j object so i'm going to add this json object to jri so after that i need to deserialize this json array so how to deserialize i will tell you okay deserialize the json array so after that you need to write to server of your data table okay okay succeeded okay we will check whether the file is um, inserted or not in the azure storage account sorry um, azure sql database can see product name we took category id 1 ok product name we turn category id 1 ok i hope you got it 